only Ayesh, who killed himself in retaliation for Ishido's assistance in killing Mariko, learns the entire scope of Tirana's scheme directly from him. Even though the combat between Tirana GA and Ishido's forces was not portrayed, it was evident from Shin's conclusion that Tirana GA would prevail in the conflict. Though his ship was wrecked, John Blackthorne, whose story was based on William Adams, dreamed of going home and getting old, thinking of Mariko. Blackthorne may therefore never go back to England. The bittersweet conclusion of Shogun demonstrated Yoshi, Tirana's character complexity. Among the most fascinating individuals in Shogun was Abushi. Ayush was the Shogun's wild card. He was devoted to himself alone and obsessed with death. He died in episode 10. Abushi was sentenced to commit seppuku after it was revealed that he had planned the attack on the Osaka castle, serving as Ishido's second. Tirana GA set up what is possibly the most significant sequence in the entire production. Knew she was going to die. So he had the opportunity to speak with Tirana GA directly and find out the truth about his plan. Lord Tirana GA revealed to Yushir in detail his strategy and outlook for Japan's future. At this point, a montage sequence showing Tirana GA's triumph over Ishida was incorporated in Shogun's climax. But when Yushir dared to question Tirana GA about whether becoming Shogun was always his goal, the Lord of Kanto remained silent. Lord Tirana GA's expression softened slightly as the seppuku ceremony came to an end. This suggested that Yushir was correct. Tirana GA had always intended to become Shogun. Yushir is dead. Thus the truth will never be known. Thanks for watching.